नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर् चानल आयुर्वेद थ्री सिक्सटी सो इन कंटिन्यूशन विद स्टाइप सीरी आफ्टर सीइंग दि नाशनल इंस्टिट्यूट्स एंड बी एच यू मेनी ऑफ दि स्टूडेंट्स आर आस्किंग रिगार्डिंग स्टाइप और सैलरी स्केल इन दि टिबी कॉलेज डेली दि आयुर्वेदिक एंड यूनानी कॉलेज दट इज टिबी कॉलेज ऑफ डेली सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दि करे स्टाइप एज वेल एज हाउ टू कैलकुलेट the salary at any given point of time so watch this video till the end to get the precise information so as many of you are aware that tibia is also one of the major institute giving a very high salary or stipend to the postgraduate scholar so it is located in new delhi the city itself near the in the uh, area of karol bagh so basically it is coming under the government of national capital territory of delhi so that is why the entire salary scale again changes here basically just like bhu the students of this college the post graduate scholars are considered as junior resident so now you got the information that the junior residency is applied here so most of you might have guessed regarding the salary scale so the salary of a post graduate scholar in tibia college is regarded as the junior resident which is equivalent to the level 10 basic of the 7th pay commission so the level 10 comes for the first year post graduate scholar so in that grade 1 so in grade 2 and grade 3 you can see so there is slight difference there is slight difference in the previous video i have already shown in relation to banaras hindu university the same thing is applied here the same thing is applied here and that is how the dif- uh, the difference between the th- three years of post graduation stip- stipend in the tbia now the salary of a post graduate scholar is just calculated as same as that of banaras hindu university there is no change the one thing is here the hra is paid to all the all the scholars since there is no accommodation facility given to all so that is why other than that all the information will remain the same except few numbers and that numbers we are going to see in this uh, further part so the basic pay we have already seen the dearness allowance so the dearness allowance the central government has already approved 3% increase in the da from last 6 months when compared to the last 6 months so the da of uh, scholar in uh, tbi right now from january onwards will be calculated 33.6 almost equaling to 34% so when you calculate that according to the basic so you can get the da you can see there 18800 around 19400 for second and almost touching 20000 for the third pg scholar so this is in relation to da dearness allowance next in relation to npa so just like banaras hindu university 20% of basic is given as non practicing allowance and we have discussed in detail in the previous video so the amount remains the same as that of bhu now the traveling allowance so the traveling allowance there is slight difference between bhu and delhi why because delhi is a part of tpta tpta city it is a basically a tpta city which is one among the 19 cities of india so that is why the uh, scale in relation to ta varies from varanasi in varanasi banaras hindu university in the university we had seen 3600 plus da in the level 10 but here it is 7200 plus ta because of change in the tire of the city as per the government of india so this is fixed 7200 plus da how to calculate that da in this case this da is not directly equal to the dearness allowance so 7200 plus what to count there now we have to calculate another part which is mentioned here the present da is almost up around 34% you have to again calculate 34% of 7200 so you are going to get almost around 2420 there so 7200 will be given to everybody including that add 2420 you are going to get 9620 so somewhere around that the traveling allowance will be paid to a junior resident that is nothing but the post graduate scholar in a t- in the college of tibia now if the city is different and if the tier is different as per the respective college this da will be calculated this is just this is just like a employee he is just like considered as an employee or he or she both can be getting the scale just like an assistant professor the initial grade now the ta is added here each of the scholar irrespective of first second and third will be getting the same because as i already explained earlier in the earlier videos the ta will remain the same 
irrespective of the grade because each and every person is using the same method of transportation so that is why it doesn't change as per the basic now in relation to hra so unlike uh, banaras hindu university so hra is compulsorily paid here because everybody will be staying outside the campus you can say in uh, respective rented houses or it could be their own house but ultimately each and everybody will be getting hra irrespective of you are having your own house or not a student of post graduation in tba college will be getting hra and again the percentage varies here in in case of varanasi it was 16% or around 18% uh, revised version now but in a delhi like situation in a city like delhi right now the hra is at 27% here the difference comes here the difference between banaras hindu university and uh, the tba comes that is one in relation to ta slight variation is there and then in relation to hra because 27% is almost 9% more than that of varanasi that's that is why the hra of a student in tba will be respectively 15000 around 15 and a half almost and 16000 almost to this amount in relation to first second and third year respectively now the total stipend or salary we can be calculated by just adding everything here you don't have an option of hra like uh, if you are taking hostel there is no such thing like bhu you have to add everything everybody will be getting above 1 lakh as we are going to see now add ba basic da npa t and hra the first pg scholar or the first junior resident will be getting more than 1 lakh and almost touching 1 lakh 10000 now the second one 1 lakh 13800 and the third one 1 lakh 16800 so as you can see the scale here the ta remains same but other all are varying uh, even the npa varies here other everything is going to vary everything is dependent on basic da is dependent on basic npa is dependent on basic hra is dependent on basic so if basic increases all these things will automatically increase but ta will remain the same so adding all these things you are going to get this much amount of salary in a post graduate uh, like departments of tba college so now imagine uh, tomorrow uh, after 6 months if da increases to about 5% imagine just a situation so then the basic uh, like uh, 56000 is there so around 3000 increase will be there in da and accordingly the others so uh, 5% increase in da will affect almost 5000 increase in the total net salary of a post graduate scholar so that is how whenever you have to calculate a stipend or salary identify the da at that particular point of time calculate accordingly you are going to get the total stipend also be up updated with what is the exact hra and what is the ta rule as per the time and then only you will be getting the exact precise uh, information in relation to stipend this is the video made for today in today's time the person will be getting this much amount of stipend now there is no grade pay unlike the assistant professors or other associate professor professors these junior residents will not get grade pay their basic itself contains certain pay already the grades now just like bhu and even uh, jaipur the salary is considered as a uh, stipend is here considered as salary that's why tds will be cut and form 16 will be provided by the uh, employer that is nothing but the management office uh, finance department then you have to fill the itr so to conclude again just like other institutes stipend is not the same every 6 months it varies and imagine the seventh pay commission changes to next one in near future then the basic also may change then accordingly the basic uh, according to the basic you have to calculate the entire pay scale again so for getting the updated information you should have which is which pay commission is applied there and what is the uh, exact percentage of da and all those things then ultimately you are going to get the stipend when the person is getting the amount in is in their account the tds will be cut that's why the entire amount will not be credited tds will be cut and tds is in relation to the income tax being paid to the government and after filing the itr if you have done certain savings tax savings so then you may get back certain amount otherwise you may uh, lose it for the income tax so we'll may we'll speak about that financial management in some other video so uh, scholars pay slip looks something like this this is an authentic salary slip i have not shown the name of the scholar just to uh, not to reveal the identity but this is how you can see a salary slip of a pg scholar or junior resident in tba college so with this i think you get the proper information you can see even the deductions deductions part you can see the income tax is deducted almost for 10% of the total amount and there are some cess education cess and also these are some uh, additional uh, deductions as per individual institution in some institution you may see some institution you may not see 
in the case of bhu we had seen medicine here we are seeing education says so these are some uh, negligible amounts uh, hardly 500 rupees so uh, otherwise the total net income will be after deduction of tds so in this case the student is getting almost 98050 rupees so this is how you can get the salary slip in a, uh, in the tba college so with this we complete the stipend or salary in relation to tba college so this is one of the or you can say this is the college where the student gets the highest stipend in india right now so that is how you can uh, conclude tba is the one which gives you the highest stipend and it is similar to varanasi but still higher just because of the change in the location so this is a major city metropolitan and uh, tpta city whereas varanasi is not coming under this category still it is a part of tier y city so that's why the hra and uh, the other ta varies that's why they enter pay scale changes otherwise from expense point of view delhi is almost you can say more expensive than delhi uh, than varanasi that's why when you see the savings then it may almost be the same that is the idea how the salary scale is made but imagine if a student is having his own his own house in delhi and if they are not having any rented house then definitely he is going to save more in case of tba i hope you like this video in the coming videos we'll be even sharing the stipend in relation to state government run colleges so if they are providing we'll share the exact news precise information as well as if any private college is providing what are what are the different ways they are providing all those things will be discussed in the near future so until next time myself dr nandish j thank you